Okay. Uh, Box.net, we know about those guys. Easy. They're right next door to us in our office in Silicon Valley. Um, SiliconAngle.com sits in the office of Cloudera, which is uh, the home of big, was the home of big data, I guess, uh, <clears throat> until yesterday. Yeah, Box.net is kind of a cool company. They're all about collaboration in the cloud. and It's fun to sit next you know. to Box.net because at Box.net, um, they built out this huge office. It took them like six months to build it out. I did a walkthrough. They got live music on there on Fridays. They got a real young culture. They're growing like crazy. They got billboards up on 101. And it's a young culture at Box.net. Yeah, their whole thing is, uh, hey, Whitney, how you doing? Hello. Dave Vellante, good to see you. Great to see you, thanks for having me. My co-host, John Furrier. Hello, nice John, you. great to see you. My new neighbor. Thank you. That's right. So, so Silicon Angle is right next door to you guys. Our office is, is in the Cloudera office. So we're actually neighbors we next to totally each other. We are totally neighbors. We share a little hallway <laughs> in your back door there. Um, so welcome to uh, the Cube, and congratulations on your new move to Box.net. Thank you very much. I'm having a blast, and I'm thrilled to be here to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that was um, kind of an interesting press release we saw today. I was like, oh, wow, Whitney knows a little bit about Documentum. And, and, well, Dave, uh, let's, and step back. let's step back for a minute. So, Whitney, you were with EMC, so you know the EMC culture with Documentum. You're now the CMO of Box.net. No, actually, kind of an interesting little what note. Um, I had a very long history at Documentum pre-EMC acquisition. So about eight years at Documentum and then another seven post-EMC acquisition there. And um, unbeknownst to a lot of folks, even though my last visit role there was as a CMO. I actually held a GM position uh, for several years at Documentum. I was a product manager. Um, I actually have a background in some engineering before that at Oracle. So uh, it's it, I'm actually the GM of Box Enterprise. So I'm really helping the company shape strategy for growth and penetration into large scale businesses and uh, complement the terrifically healthy business that we already have in the mid-market and SMB space. Okay, well, thank you for the correction, that's awesome. So you're leading the charge in the enterprise and the advertising on 101 says Box.net is in 73% of all enterprises. Is that, that's a reality? That's a Tell true fact. So um, really, Box is, I should say, lightly penetrated into 73% of the Fortune 500. And that's clearly part of why I've joined Box, is to really help us take that to extraordinary levels and not only deliver huge value across large portions of users in those corporations, but to help us get to all the other great large-scale global companies out there um, beyond those Fortune 500. You guys are growing like crazy. I mean, I, mean, I hear the... I can hear the action inside the company. The walls are kind of thin over there between Cloudera and uh, <laughs> our offices and you guys. And you get the lunchroom there. And let's not forget, we actually share a restroom in the ho share. joint hallway. Yeah, so, John, so we'll John, 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 isn't that enemy territory now? We'll be, we'll be, seeing, we'll be seeing each other. Yeah, but you guys are a young company and there's a lot of young energy in that company. It's a, it's a cool company. Aaron, the founder, is uh, a cool guy we've met before at some like tech event. He's like in his tw early 20s. You're coming in to expand that growth. Tell us how much growth is going on. Give us a feel for the growth. Because 73% 73, 73 of the enterprise is a big number. It just didn't happen overnight. Um, I get the feeling that Box is massively growing. Can you share this? You are this? exactly right. We are on a rocket ship of growth. It, it's, it couldn't be more fun and exciting. Um, it's a very buzzy place to be right now, and, and not just because of the youth of the company, but really it's just the energy and the excitement and the promise of what we're doing. Um, and frankly, a lot of that energy is coming from our customers, who are just super excited about what we do, what kind of products we're delivering, and what kind of value we're helping these companies realize. So I think that energy is fueling all of us day to day, but the growth is massive. Um, we've got, as I said, just this incredibly healthy business that we've had for quite a long time around the mid-market and SMB space that is very, very steadily growing. But our rocket ship growth is starting to come really from these large-scale enterprise uh, customers and purchases. What's the driver for that? What's the big thermal trend that's pulling out? Obviously, cloud's big, yeah. but what other things are driving that growth? You know, it's largely this very simple idea that yet has not been addressed by simple solutions, which is, how do I share information with other people easily? And give access to people, or rather give people access to information on the device that they want to use. And I think that's really been um, it building in over time, and we're sort of at this interesting tipping point where IT is dying to say yes to the users that want to bring the, the things they use at home and love so much into the workplace. And finally, tools like Box are there that are enterprise ready, are you know secure and give IT all the comfort they want, and yet give the users the experience that they want. And so I think we've 
our timing has just been impeccable of bringing really 2.0 generation technology to this desperately hungry community for helping to share information in a modern way. So I think like, when I think of that sharing, I think of Google Docs, obviously, and, you, and that's not an either or for Box.net, no. right? You guys work with Google Google Docs, but. But, but how does that all work out? Talk a little bit more about that. Sure, so we, you're exactly right. We have a terrific partnership with Google in the Google Docs arena. Um, so they're a wonderful collaborative editing environment for creating information and exchanging ideas. And the persistence of that information is really something that goes very, very well in Box. So put those resulting information, decisions, collaborative documents, what have you, into Box for further sharing and collaboration to link them with other information. And we've got a whole network of applications that we integrate with, like Google Docs, um, others that are on iPads like Docs to Go and things like that, but also other enterprise class applications like Salesforce, like um, NetSuite, uh, and a whole bunch of others. Documentum, exactly. <laughs> the announcement newest. we made today is a huge step in that direction and has the added benefit of helping to connect on-prem solutions like Documentum with cloud-based uh, extension of value into new areas. Yeah, the logo slide is impressive. Tell, I saw Oracle on there. That's great that uh, you got Oracle up there. ESPN, Skype, now Microsoft. Yeah. Direct so CD. It's, it's, it's obvious. Tremendous. I mean, the people I mean who are in the tech business know you got a great background. I'll see. I didn't know the Oracle thing. That's actually more impressive. You know, Jeremy Burton, ex Oracle himself. Um, a lot, of, a lot of DNA coming out of Oracle. So, I mean, you got Aaron's a young guy, okay? He's venture backed, and there's always that pressure, you know? It's like, the young guy is going to screw it up, right? You know, it's like, so they got to bring in some adult supervision. Um, is that kind of the story, or is it more of, hey, we just need someone to hold down the fort and be the GM of the, uh, the this enterprise that's a little bit more complicated than, say, the consumer business? You or know, is it both? It's, it's actually, it's kind of neither, interestingly enough. I sort of feel that, you know, somebody like Aaron, who is just a genius, uh, he's brilliant. Um, he's, despite his youth, knows a heck of a lot and is incredibly intuitive about the right things to do for this business. So that's a real plus for us, that we've got somebody as talented and uh, has so much great strategy to take us forward into the future. And I think you marry that talent and kind of fresh outlook and energy with some people who are seasoned experts in various parts of the business, whether that be frankly in the consumer space or in the enterprise space, and you get this fantastic winning combination. Yeah. Um, and I really think that's a big part of what Box is doing, is sort of weaving together a culture of experienced professionals who've been in the enterprise market and in the consumer market, along with a lot of that youth and vigor and all those great fresh ideas it's a good that are match. You know, it, coming You're right, out. it is such a simple idea, and you've taken this <laughs> freemium model, here you have five gigabytes for free, and then if you if you really like it, you have $15 per user per month, I mean, so simple, and, and, and it scales. But so, wh why why hasn't everybody thought of this before? I mean, wh what was it about Box.net that put, put you over the edge, or put the market over the edge? You know, I don't think that it's nobody thought about it before. Mm. I, I really think it's more of a market timing kind of thing meets that modern technology that finally makes it super easy. I mean, we're definitely in an era where it's not knowledge is power anymore, it's it's sharing is power. And I think that's a very, very different concept than where we were even 10 years ago. So you kind of take this attitude change coupled with the modern technology built to share, coupled with you know a company like ours who's taken perhaps an old idea of sharing information and knowledge management, but turning it into a really useful sexy, easy to use product that people love and I, I, you've got a really great kind of trifecta um, that is behind our growth and success. I think sharing is power is a great philosophy and I think that is was the promise of Web 2.0 when that whole Web 2.0 hype cycle kind of came around. So it's great to see the meat on the bone. Obviously I'm a big fan of founders being involved and staying at the helm of a company, especially Box, so young. Aaron's a great guy, super smart. Um, it sounds like you guys are going to continue to, to kick some serious butt. You're at the helm coming in from <laughs> EMC. I mean, Documentum, um, even before EMC, was a pretty well-disciplined company. I mean, they weren't, you know, you weren't amateurs running there. You had some good talent. So what did you learn from those experiences and, and being the professional that you are now in the enterprise? And the enterprise is certainly changing as well, obviously the consumerization, but what did you, what do you, what did you learn? What are you bringing to Box that you can say, I feel good about the following things? Yeah, I think one is that having grown up with Documentum, and frankly even before that with Oracle and Sybase, when they were smaller companies and really helping them to grow to large companies, uh, Documentum was about half the size boxes today when I joined back in the mid-90s. And when we were acquired by EMC, 
were 1,100 people. So massive growth, and, and that does take some discipline um, as well as kind of foundations for scale. And so those are some real skills that I think I help bring to Box to help us grow to that next level and make sure that we're scaling in a way that will keep us growing at that same fast pace. Um, and I think in addition, from a personal talent perspective, one of the things I absolutely love to do and have done several times over is helping to either shape or create new markets where the vendor in question really can, you know, kind of have an unfair advantage, if you will, by helping to shape what that market is defined strategy. to be. And, and that is really fun to do. That's I mean, to just, chess you know, match. take the, exactly. So I love doing that. And I think Box is in this fantastic position of being sort of this um, interconnection point between enterprise applications, collaboration, social business software, on-prem cloud, kind of hybrid environments. We've got so much to offer. And I do think that there's some uniqueness there that we can capitalize on. And that's uh, certainly part of what I'm excited well, about. Well, describe well, the chessboard for us, because I mean, obviously box.net has got massive growth. The penetration numbers are, are phenomenal. Um, do you see it more as a, a changing of the rules of enterprise? I mean, you're one of being, I mean, competitive strategy is a combination of, we're well, not disclosing what you're going to do, but you know, what does the chessboard look like and what's the disruption angle that you're going to take? Is it going to be, price? Is it going to be freemium? I mean, do you, can you share any of that at all? Or Well, I, I can certainly talk about, I think, what we're doing today that's that's disruptive in the market. And, and certainly the freemium model is a big one, right? You get them hooked. It, it's the gateway drug. As I heard somebody describe Box today, I just love that. I thought that was priceless. So, you know, you get them hooked on something and then they really do want to use it's it more. Like the cube. And I think that, that yeah. Kind of like the cube, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Welcome to the cube. All right, I love it. Um, I think there's a virality, a natural virality there that the nature of Box, when you share a file with someone, they become a de facto user of Box, and they're accessing that information through Box, even though they weren't intending to use Box, perhaps, at the outset. That alone gives them that interaction point that makes Box a really exciting place, and they start wanting to share with their friends, and it's, it's back to that age-old commercial for anyone old enough to remember of, and they told two friends, and they told two friends. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it, it's just a beautiful thing. It just kind of builds on itself. So, I, I do think that that, building a product that is simple, that is attractive, that is sexy to look at and fun to use, is a huge advantage for us. It's and, got and great lock-in really capability, too. When you get that distribution virality, and that viral expansion, it could be a nice little match you can start a bonfire with, as they say. But it's it's also about the utility. You can sneak features yeah. in there and create some stickiness. Absolutely, and, and I really think you know this ain't your old school enterprise software. You know this is fun, light, yeah, yeah. attractive, sexy yeah. stuff. If we thought storage was sexy, Dave. Well, this yeah, well, is even well, sexier. And, then, and Whitney, <laughs> I mean, light is a key key term there, right? There's so much enterprise software right. has so much in there that we never use. So as users, you have an experience with Box and you say, wow, this is really simple. Yeah, maybe it can't do everything that my Microsoft projects can do, but I don't need all that other stuff anyway. And I think that's has a great appeal to my, many more people. I think so too. And yeah. I, I think again, IT is looking to say yes to those users yeah. with something they want to use, but have to at the same time maintain a focus on the security and ownership and all the things that IT is there to protect. And so I, I think we give them the best of both worlds and that's a pretty disruptive thing right there. Well, my final question is a um, couple, two questions, two, two part questions. One is, now that you're on board, a couple of weeks now, I guess, apparently, um, what's your growth strategy for Box, and how are you going to attack the, the, the next year, your first year? Um, and then, what culture do you see Box turning into? I mean, we kind of get a picture of it now. It's a young, vibrant, innovative culture. Um, you're a good fit for that because you've got a lot of energy yourself. <laughs> you know, what's your, what's your growth strategy? Staff up? Is it about building the team? Is it more infrastructure? Is it pricing, new products? Um, what's the mix for the growth strategy? And, and then where's the culture going to go? So I think from a growth strategy, we're definitely hiring. So please, anybody out there that's listening, that's in the San Francisco Bay Area, who's a kick-ass engineer, marketer, salesperson, please call us. <laughs> we, we desperately need mobile engineers. That's our biggest thing right now. Um, so we are definitely hiring. Stand in line with everyone else, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, no kidding, exactly. It's not an easy, it's Joe, not you had easy just left Facebook, so yeah, he's available. Yeah, there you go, see? So, um, I, I, you know, certainly hiring yeah. staff is a big part of growth, and, and part of our latest funding round, we did a Series D round back in uh, March that is really about is funding. 40 million? 48 and a half, yeah. 48. So we're, you know, largest SaaS software investment, and uh, nice. really nice exciting, and, and really that's to help us 
grow the enterprise market and staff more, build the business, just you know, really grow for scale. So that's uh, you know, clearly staffing. It's also about product continued differentiation, but we're going to maintain that laser sharp focus on simplicity and user centricity. So give them the best possible user experience, but with the richness of functions that they really need. From a culture perspective, I would say you said we're today young, vibrant, and I think innovative. the third word, innovative. Uh, that's where we're going to be. Stay so there. So stay, stay the course. We no want to keep that there, great there, energy. That and edge. I, absolutely. That's wow. what makes Box a fun place to be and a fun place to work with. So, that's so funny. You know, they that's spend really so much money focus. on their build out, and I think you're going to be out of that office in a matter of a couple more months because you're, <laughs> you're already busting out the seams of a great office. <laughs> it's true. Well, when you're a superstar, we, we knew that when you were at Documentum. I mean, really, and, and uh, a whole different market, obviously, but you're bringing an energy to, to Box and this new web company. It's really exciting to see. So, Thank get a great you. reputation. You know, we'll be watching. Yeah, it's great. great. Well, it's fabulous to be here with you guys, and uh, we're really, really excited to be here at EMC World. This is just a terrific show for us, and uh, lots more to come. So thank you so much for having me. All right. Great. Well, you're welcome. We'll be watching, and uh, good luck with everything. We'll follow up. We're going to talk with you guys, do some do some interviews. I want to get Aaron when we get back and do some interview in our cube. So we're our studio in Palo Alto is literally feet away from their door. <laughs> so we will away. grab huh? Whitney again and certainly Aaron, uh, the founder and CEO, in, on the cube and go deep on some conversations. So thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Uh